Jet will build a tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to add taxonomy tiles to your page with the help of Jet Wool Builder plugin. So before you start adding a widget in Elementor, you need to make sure you have all of your categories and tags set up with the image, description, and all the needed information so it is displayed nicely in the taxonomy tiles widget. So to access the inventory where you can see all the categories and tags to your products stored in a nice list, you can go to products and here you see categories and tags. So I only did this to a number of categories to be displayed in my taxonomy tiles for this tutorial. So besides the name and the slug, the category should have an image and the description. To edit the certain category, you simply go to edit and there you can add an image and a description. To create a new category, you need to fill in these forms and simply click add new category. The same applies to tags. The only difference is that you cannot add images to a tag. So it's only a name, description and slug. So as you see, there is a description as well. So now we're back in Elementor Editor and I go to the Elements panel and search for Taxonomy Tiles widget. So here it goes and the first thing you see in the General tab is the type of layout. So it lets you choose what sort of layout you want this widget to present. Besides the layout settings, you can set where the count of the products that belong to this particular category will be shown. So it can be either in content or out of content. So it will be there in the right hand top corner. So here is set the minimum height of the box and the width of the main box. In this case, in this particular layout, this is the main box, which takes the biggest amount of space. All right, so here is uh, what taxonomy you want to be displayed in these taxonomy tiles, categories or tags. Here, if you want to hide some empty categories or tags, you simply toggle this option to yes, and the taxonomy tiles will not show the empty categories. Hide uncategorized. If you enable this option show by IDs, here you can type in the particular IDs of the particular categories. To learn what the ID of the particular category or particular tag is, you simply go to your category or tags inventory, you hover over a name of the category or tag, and there in the line at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see the ID equals and the digits. Those digits are the ID of this category. So using these IDs, you can either include and also exclude particular taxonomy from these taxonomy tiles. Here is how you want to order the categories. So ascending or descending order and how you want them to be sorted by name, by IDs or by count. So I chose my taxonomies to be sorted by count and they'll be going from the category having the biggest number of products to the one having the smallest number of products. Here you can switch off showing the counts. So now it will not be visible how many products belong to this category or tag. Okay, here's uh, the maximum length of the title, the maximum length of description, and the before text and the after text for the count. So that's it for the content tab. Now let's proceed to the style tab and see what's there. So here you can increase or decrease the gap between the boxes. Like that, set the border if you wish, the box shadow. Okay, 
here it's with the alignment of the content of each box. So if you wish, you can add the box overlay. So the text becomes a little bit more easily readable. So let's do that. Well, another way to make the text on the box more readable is to simply set the color of the title, the product account and the description transparent here in the content tab. So what do you do is you set all the typography settings you wish, you set all the margins, paddings, the position for the product count, etc. And then you simply set the color of the type to transparent. Then you go to the box hover tab and there you set the background color of content. Then you set the color of title description and the count. So now you can remove the overlay on normal state. And then once you hover over the box, you see that only then once you hover the title, the description and the count appear. So this was pretty much it for the overview of the taxonomy tiles widget in Jetable Builder. Thank you for watching.